Hey y'all! Last week I uploaded a video called Bad Religions, which discussed my opinions regarding religion versus dogma. I referenced the video by Bionic Dance, and honestly I was only half surprised when she took it personally. What really surprised me, however, is how badly she mangled the message of my video. So in her own words, Let's do this! If you've been in the YouTube Atheist community as long as I have, you probably know who the Peach is. But if you're a relative newcomer, well, she hasn't made a video in quite some time. And so you probably have no idea. But she put up a video, oh, this morning I believe it was, and in it she explains her absence. She says that she feels that the arguments between Atheists and Theists have been exhausted and there's just nowhere left to go. Now the reason I'm including this is to demonstrate how poor Kate's comprehension skills are. You see what she's done here. I opened the video with the fact that I hadn't made a video about atheism in over a year, and I gave my reasons why. She twisted that to make it sound like I've been absent from YouTube for a long time, and I suppose that compared to someone who uploads a new video once every 18 hours, month-long intervals are a long time. But for me, that's been a constant rate since I began on YouTube. And Kate knows that because she had been subscribed to me practically since the beginning. So I see this as a very dishonest attempt to dismiss me by making it appear that I've been away from the tubes for so long and that I just didn't know what I was talking about because I'm so out of the loop. I pick up on things like that. And to be honest, I agree. We are mostly parroting the same things back and forth at this point. But I don't think that that's a reason to stop. If we don't keep fighting against religion, what are we supposed to do? Just let it win? Just because there are no new arguments, that doesn't mean there aren't new people to hear them. And that doesn't mean that we should just let the theists win, that we should just stop making these arguments. I do not agree. But in her video, she also says this. For me, religion very rarely hits close to home. Well, as I've stated in my videos many times, some of us are impacted by religion, and on a fairly frequent basis. So some of us do see a reason to keep making these arguments, to keep making these videos. Because if we don't, the other side does win, or at least they gain an advantage. And I don't want that. I don't think you actually want that either. But okay, religion doesn't impact you? Fine. Don't fight this fight. But there will be other people, newcomers, folks who didn't realize that there was a hope for them, who are going to show up, who are going to need to hear these arguments and not have them buried under by the other side continuing to make these arguments without us. So pointing to other people and telling them that our, our participation in this discussion is tedious and pointless I'm sorry, that's just simply out of line, frankly. You don't agree? Fine. Back off. Back out. But we don't need you telling us not to fight, not to argue, not to defend our side. We don't need that. I got the feeling that she's been itching for a platform for this letting the theists win speech. Simply put, nothing she said here had any relevance to the content of my video. So here's a repeat of the entire paragraph. I haven't done a video about atheism, or religion in general, in well over a year. And the reason for that is, I honestly find a lot of the discussion about atheism to be rather tedious now. After three and a half years of participating on YouTube and being mostly a spectator to the many long-winded atheist-theist exchanges, it appears that much of the discussion and arguments have been exhausted. For so long, it looked to me like that arena just has nowhere else to go. But that's because, for me, religion very rarely hits close to home. That's right. Religion itself very rarely hits close to home for me. And that sentiment segued into how religion had hit close to home recently. This is why context is so important. Clipping that line off the way she had made it look like I was no longer concerned with the entire topic because it doesn't affect me. Moving on, what I said was that the atheist-theist debate had grown stale because the arguments had become exhausted from both sides. What she heard was, let's just stop talking about it and all the negative effects of religious infiltration into society and legislature. 
But that's not what I said, nor was it what I implied. I said nothing about ceasing the resistance against such religious infiltration and indoctrination. I said that the atheist-theist debate had become tedious. The debate, you know, what are the arguments for and against the existence of gods, and the question of morality, and the problem of evil, and the infallibility of the Bible, and what does it say about this issue and that issue, etc. It's gone nowhere for a long time, and that was the reason why I hadn't made a video about atheism in so long. But for some reason she went off on this tangent about giving in to the theists. My opening sequence is a cartoon me cutting off Yahweh's head. Does that look like I'm throwing in the towel? Sorry, Kate, I'm not jumping on any bandwagons here. This is just my honest opinion. Given that the points you're about to make about the YouTube atheist community could have been made in a general way without pointing out any one specific individual, you'll have to forgive my incredulity on that point. And while her frustration can certainly be understood, I think her overgeneralizing of religion is far too simplistic, especially when her beef is clearly with Christianity. It seems simplistic to you because you're making it simplistic. I mean, come on, you boil my argument down to this. Religion bad, atheist smash! Now which one of us is being overly simplistic? I ask you. This is my fault. I thought Kate and I were on good enough terms with each other that I could make a joke without tearing her thin skin, but I was obviously wrong. These days, she seems to detect any kind of ribbing as a personal attack against her, and to be completely honest, that just stinks of a paranoid persecution complex of which I have no patience for. She's a willing participant in this forum, and if she can't stand to be referenced or used as an example by people who disagree with her assessments, then this simply isn't the place for her. And it also makes her a giant hypocrite. And this is why I oppose people like Pat Condell and Thunderfoot and their views on Islam. But anyway, yes. Religion Bad Atheist Smash was an oversimplification, obviously meant in jest. But this wasn't. A few weeks ago, the user Bionic Dance uploaded a video called You Make My Life Worse, which was a video response explaining, for the 700th time, how religion is the bane of mankind's existence, pretty much. That's a very dismissive and, frankly, overly simplistic characterization of my video. When I try to explain to people that they've misrepresented me and my arguments, this is the kind of thing I mean. The video I had referenced was her commentary about how religion is her enemy and that the world would be better off without it. And I submit that that's the same thing as saying religion is the bane of mankind's existence. So I reject her accusation that I mischaracterized her stance. From her vault of 700 plus videos, she's made that quite clear to ad nauseum. So why bother denying it? I am against people using religion as an excuse to be extraordinarily crappy to other people. I'm also against that. Now, somehow, this has gotten morphed into me thinking, Rah, religion bad, it's the evil empire, the, the, it, it's out to destroy us all. Oh. Now that is not my position. Never has been. So, if you are going to try to criticize me, and you're going to act like that's my position, You've proved yourself not worth responding to. I will behave as if you don't exist until you get that shit right. Oh, I'm gonna get it right. Why do I argue against God and religion as much as I do? Because religion has to be fought. Because it's hurting people. What more reason do I need? Or they're trying to say that some religions are harmless, that they aren't all bigoted, homophobic, anti-science death cults, and that I should just back off to let those religions be. I mean, I want to enjoy my life. I really do. But here's the problem. Religion tells me I can't. Religion gets in my way. Religious people tell me that their God gave this world to them. That their God handed down scripture and rules that we all have to follow, whether we're religious or not. And I'm not allowed to enjoy my life on my own terms because your God objects. What I'm actually doing is trying to destroy religion, frankly. I wouldn't be screaming about it on a nearly daily basis the way I am now if the religious could play live and let live. But they're not, are they? 
Now, okay, to be fair, I'm not really trying to destroy it so much as blunt its power to hurt non-adherents. One thing I've noticed about theists is the number of misconceptions they have about what it means to be an atheist. I mean, probably first and foremost is how they seem to look at us as being as much of a group as they are. Never mind all the needless child deaths that result from the religious refusal to use modern medicine. I'm here arguing in self-defense. I'm here on YouTube arguing against religion because religious people keep behaving like assholes in my direction. Because religious people can't mind their own business. The fact is, I don't see how atheism and theism can possibly coexist peacefully unless religion has been neutered to the point where it cannot substantially affect anybody's life unless they want it to. On second thought, religion bad, atheist smash seems more appropriately descriptive of her position now more than ever. My position is still the same. I know my enemy, and it's not explicitly religion or theism. It's dogma. Are theists more susceptible to dogma? Sure. But they don't have a monopoly on it. How do I know this? Because not every secularist and skeptic is an atheist. And not every atheist is logical and rational. Case in point. You know, I've noticed that this demand for pinpoint specificity when it comes to which religion we're arguing against is a fairly recent phenomenon among the atheist YouTube community, and it seems to be quite frequently directed at my dumb butt. I've had at least one other atheist YouTuber PM me saying that it seems as if people are holding me to a much higher standard than anyone else. I'm just saying. I'm actually really amazed that she would say that. Not only is she stating that expecting people to be precise and accurate is a new and somehow unreasonable request, but she's also conveniently forgetting the fact that nearly every participant in the community has, at some point, found him or herself needing to clarify and re-clarify positions because of perceived ambiguity of their previous commentaries. There's nothing wrong with that. And the fact is, her preference for using umbrella terms like religion and theists are seen as broad generalizations because she won't specifically state who she's talking about. Now, she'll often counter that with the excuse that she's made videos before clarifying her liberal use of those terms, and yet she just continues to make the same gaffe. So this leads me to believe that she's either incorrigible, or she really sees nothing wrong with employing the guilt by association fallacy upon believers. And that brings me back to her we can't let the theists win speech. She speaks like she's in some kind of reverse jihad or something. And that epitomizes the you're either with us or against us school of thought that I spoke about in my previous video. And so I say again, religion alone is clearly not the problem. In my perspective anyway. The problem is dogma, and as we can see, it can infect anyone. One last thing, and this is directed to the folks who've been begging for an end to all the infighting. I have to ask, why? What are we here for if not for discourse and open dialogue? It's how you react to it that makes it drama. If you're so bent on proving how dedicated this community is to free exchange of thoughts and ideas, as well as to show narrow-minded people that we are, in fact, not a religion, why then would you ever want to stifle any attempt to debate one another? If we can't even call each other out, then we're just another cult playing follow the leader to our favorite highly subscribed YouTubers. And what is that? Some residual theistic need to worship an entity higher than oneself? Because I don't have that impulse. I believe that discussion is good, and if one of us feels that a fellow atheist is incorrect about something, or he or she disagrees with someone's assessment on some issue, and it motivates that person to make some kind of a open response, why should that person hold his or her tongue? And furthermore, why should that automatically be perceived as a fight, or the persons engaged don't personally like each other? The problem is, is that some folks have a very hard time accepting any form of critique that is less than stellar, but I haven't reached the level of arrogance to assume that anyone who would dare call me out is just looking for some drama.